Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and today I wanted to show you how to import 3D objects into your RPG developer Bakin project. To get started, I just created a new project using the bare minimum assets, a randomly generated map, and some existing objects just for good measure are sprinkled onto the map and for scale. While you're checking out your map, by the way, if you find that your camera is starting to clip into the environment, you can go to the bottom right corner of the screen and click on perspective view, and that should improve things greatly. So the first thing we're going to do is click on resources under the master menu on the left hand side of the screen. The resource menu contains all of the resources that we'll be using in our game. And this is where you'll import all of the assets that you'd like to use. But today we're going to click on 3D stamps because that's what we want to import. Now your menus may look a little bit different. You can click and drag to adjust the size of the panes for better viewing. And my 3D stamps folder area here is looking a little bit empty. That is because I started with the bare minimum asset project. But anyway, it is here that we want to add our assets. So let's go ahead and click add. And we are brought to the asset picker. This screen is separated into three parts, which are also all adjustable. The left-hand side is the additional menu. All of the DLC that you get from Steam for RPG Developer Bakin will be listed here. I grabbed all of the free assets, and so I've got a folder for each one of those asset packs by default. So let's start by importing one of those asset packs. I'll just go ahead and select Nature Pack Volume 1. The center pane here will update depending on what you've clicked on the left-hand side, and it will show you the folder structure of that asset pack. The right-hand side of the screen will show you a preview of either what's in that folder or of the file itself. So we're going to click on the 3D Stamps and 2D Stamps folder, actually double-click on it, and then double-click on Nature, and then you see that there are several subfolders, each one containing a variety of models, and they're all categorized within their subfolders. Now you can import one of these resources if you want just by double clicking on it or clicking on it and then clicking add and exit at the bottom of the screen or you can hold down the shift key, click the first asset in a subfolder and the last asset and they will all highlight or you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and individually select the ones that you want to import. Unfortunately right now, as of the time of this video's recording, we can only import the assets of one folder at a time. But once you've got what you want selected, just click Add and Exit. You'll get an information window telling you that this has succeeded. And now your 3D assets will appear in your resource menu. If you want at this point, I would advise adding a folder. And you can name this folder whatever you want. I'm going to name it Trees. Select all of your assets. I just held down Shift, selected the very first item and the last item to highlight them all, and then drag them right into the Trees folder. And now they'll be sorted into this Trees folder and I can collapse the folder. If I want to get the rest of the stuff from the nature pack, I'll just select it in the asset picker under additional menu again, go to trees 2, select all of those trees, add and exit, select all of the trees in the 3D stamps submenu and drag them right into my trees folder so they can hang out with the rest of the trees. And they all coexist together here in this folder, there's no issue with merging them. Once you hit OK, after you're done importing all the assets that you want, you'll see your new folders in the Objects tab on the right side of the screen in the Map Editor. Here's all of the trees that I just imported, and I can now place them onto the map. But maybe you'd like to import a different kind of object, perhaps one that you made. Let's go back to Resources, and we'll click Add under 3D Stamps from the Resource menu. Instead of adding objects from DLC, or from folders of included assets, such as the Smile Game Builder Pack or the 3D Asset Tutorial, we can click the Select From File option, and this will actually give us a file tree from our PC. I've got some stuff in my Downloads folder, which is blissfully located right here at the top of the menu, and I've decided to import an object that I made in a completely different third-party tool called Kenny Shape, which is a program that allows you to create 3D models from 2D images. I've decided to make a very simple box. We'll export this model as an FBX, which Bakin will recognize, unwrapped with Optimize On, and I'm just going to call it Bakusu and save it to my Downloads folder. When I go to my Downloads folder in the editor, I can now see that Bakusu.FBX is available for me to select. Don't just add these assets. Make sure that you pay attention to the bottom of the screen before you click that Add and Exit button. For one thing, we need to check Add Optimization when importing FBX file under Options here. For another, we have to make sure that the scale is correct. If you import a 3D model and the model wasn't already optimized for, say, Smile Game Builder or Bakin usage, 
and the scale is set to one, that model is going to look huge. You won't even be able to see it in the preview and you'll think that you didn't import anything at all. So we'll set the scale to 0 0.005. That's right, 0 0.005. Then click add and exit. And Bakusu appears in the editor just fine. He even already has his collision. We'll hit okay. It looks like he imported into the trees folder, which is fine. We can change that at any time. And I can now completely fill my map with my new boxy overlords. It's a box invasion. Yes, your time of hiding inside these guys for covert operations is over. You should run. Remember that after you place the object down, even if it's one you just made, you can of course increase or decrease the scale. Anyway, that is all the time I have for this episode. I hope that this helped you import models into your Bakking project. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a fantastic day and bye for now.